Hi, this is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. All right, so today we're going to talk about remote controls. Yeah, similar to this remote control, but without me having to go to turn it on. What did I find? I found the Pansolar IR remote control. The Pansolar IR remote control. What does the Pansolar IR remote control do? The Pansler or IR remote control does televisions and set top boxes and uh, TV boxes, it says. Now, what does that mean? This has a lot of preset uh, television codes and set top box codes in it. It also has a DYI mode. So, the Pansler uh, IR remote control that works with Smart Life. Google Home and Amazon Alexa. Is it as good as the RM Pro or the RM Pro Mini? We'll find out. Uh, but it does work with Smart Life, and that's kind of cool putting it into uh, that arena. So, so don't touch that dial. Stay right here as I open this box. I see what's inside, and I set this puppy up and test it on out and give you a few thoughts at the end. So, see you in a few seconds. This one, buddy. All right. All right, people. Now it's time for another edition of What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Wi Fi infrared remote control. Supports IR enabled devices, the Wi Fi logo, Smart Life, and Amazon and Google. What is this strange contraption? What can it do? Let's flip it over. Oh, they put a stick. It says customize scenes. Reset. And share devices. It's capable with Android 4.4 and iOS 8.0 and newer. That's right. In this beautiful box. Do we open up the top or do we open up the bottom? Top or bottom? Let's open it from the bottom. Ooh. All right, cue the music, Phil. Do. Free six months extended warranty. So this is a panamular infrared controller. I'll say it again. Panamular infrared controller. See how like I did that? Pronounce things like that on the phone too. Alright, so the first thing we have to deal with, well we have instructions. And then we have a USB mini. A black dot. Appears to be a black sticky dot. And then the piece of resistance. Let the tension build. Opening the bag. Here we go. Oh. Look at that little square. It says Panamular right on the top of it. There's a little Wi Fi logo that looks like a cutout or a light. The mini um, input. Nice matte finish. It's small, very small, but it feels well put together. And then there's a little switch on the bottom. 
and it says on the bottom Wi-Fi infrared remote control model S06 is the model number input 5 volts DC so this is the Panamular IR controller that's right the Panamular infrared controller look at that little sweetness there all right so it looks clean it looks precise there's no screws so it must be clicked or glued together we're gonna hook this puppy up and we're gonna see how it works there we go beautiful all right so now we're gonna open the smart life app And we got to get this little guy flashing, so we're going to hold this button until it flashes. So it's flashing fast now. So now we're going to go add a device. And we are looking for universal infrared control. So it's flashing fast. Right here. And we're going to confirm. And we're looking to make a connection. Now it says we're supposed to have it as close as possible to the router, but that's impossible. stop flashing oh, Alexa's already found it see now we're going to say complete Now we're going to add a remote control. So we're looking for a TV. And we're looking for Sony. Lots of TVs. So now, okay, so let's see here. That works. Select this. So now we have. A and as you saw, Alexa found the television too. So via phone, it's working. Let me pause this and I'll show you the television now. So now let's see what we can do. We can do, and we're looking at channels up. Now of course this TV doesn't have any channels. So we're going to hit menu. We're going to go to OK on MB, M, HDMI. Okay. Now, I wonder if I can put the Roku remote inside of this one. We'll have to try that next. We can turn the volume up. We can mute the TV. We can turn the TV on and off. It looks like we can do different types of display options. They're all pre-programmed into the remote. 
All right, so we got the Sony remote hooked up. That's kind of cool. And we can now play TV and turn the volume up and down. So now that we need to go in and see what it looks like in Alexa. All right, we're going to go in here and look in Amazon. All right, so there we go. Let's get here. Devices. All right, so we're in our master bedroom. We don't see it. It's not in the master bedroom. So now let's see if we can find it. Go into all devices. And in all devices, oh, well, we have a new TV. So type is TV. We're going to edit the name. So now we just saved it as bedroom TV. So saving it as bedroom TV means we should be able to go back out and we now have the bedroom device right there, remote, this is the bedroom remote, All right? So that's our device and now we have bedroom TV, so our bedroom remote and bedroom TV. Alexa, turn off bedroom TV. Okay. And she turns it off. Alexa, turn on bedroom TV. Okay. And she turns it on. So that's cool. So now we can turn on our master bedroom television with our voice. Alexa. Turn volume up on bedroom TV. Okay. So I opened the box, I saw what was inside, and I set this puppy up. The Smart Life Panseler IR Wi Fi Remote Control. That's a lot to say. It's by Panseler, it works for Smart Life, and it's a Wi Fi IR remote control that works with Google Home and Amazon Alexa. What do I think about it? Well, the first thing is finding the Sony TV that I set up was easy and fast. It went in there right away. And that's pretty awesome. Uh, and it works good. You can turn the volume up, you can turn the volume down, you can change the channels, which isn't gonna be much of a need for me because we stream pretty much everything in the house, but you can do it. Drawback, uh, if you do a DIY, it doesn't have a voice enable capability but if you're not into doing a DIY IR controlled device then this thing's gonna work just fine and it puts it into your smart life app so that's one less app that you'll have to do to control your television it does not control a blu-ray machine or a DVD machine there's nothing in there for this so that would be a DIY so you could not use your voice with it I also try to do my uh, Roku box and Roku box was not available in this either. Um, and that's kind of a bummer too, because you know, why not? You should be able to do all those things. And there's thousands of name brand TVs and set top boxes in there. Air conditions and fans, apparently. Uh, I don't have an air condition that you're gonna do that with. And I don't have a fan we're gonna do with that, but air conditioning and fans that you can control with this. And that's cool. I like the construction of it. I like the look of it. I like the functionality, but they really do need to work on getting DIY, DIY fixed up. So, all right. So there you have it. Ah, uh, do I recommend this? Yes. If you're just doing a television or set top box or one of the things that it free program to control, this thing works awesome. If you are into D, uh, DIY like I am, I'm not up to snuff for that. So I would say for that, you need to get into the RM. Pro, the RM Mini. Uh, and again, you can see that video right there. Thank you for watching the channel. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You can find their information below. So, see you soon. Speaking of IR devices. Oh, come off it. Alright, so...
Vector likes to turn on the camera. That's right. <laughs>